So hard.
Well, it's definitely an honor to be on the show and being like the long, longest standing artist on the lineup, it's just, it doesn't feel like it. The show feels like a really next level thing and yeah, pretty stoked about it. We think the whole setup is really sick. Uh, we've just seen it and we are really excited to be here at YouTube Space. The first time I got in there, I was like, damn, this is like a living room. I want to be there with other creators and I felt like home. And oh, your feet. This will be the first kind of live, just me at the front performing it rather than behind the decks performing it is a lot more daunting. I mean, I, live stuff is always scary, but this kind of live is much more scary because it's not just you're singing it live in front of an audience, it's then going to be on the internet forever. It's, this is the first time where I would be singing to a track, so it's just kind of a new experience for me. Uh, the rehearsal has been great. I was pretty nervous in the beginning because it's the first time for me like performing in front of a crowd. Um, I'm going to be performing all subs now uh, in two parts. One part is the acoustic part with a MIDI piano keyboard. I'm just going to play the melody and the chords. And the second part is now on the launch pad. Slice up the whole track into 500 pieces. So every time I press a button, it's just a tiny piece. So I have to time it perfectly. We are going to perform uh, Waiting and Perfect in the first time together. So we actually made an extra intro version and an extra transition for all that. So uh, we are gonna have the live piano on it and uh, the launch pad. I don't think we expect it to be our first show live stream. I think we're gonna keep our minds clear. At least we try to and just uh, concentrate on what we are, yeah, what we love doing the most, and that's music. First release on NCS, never have I felt this. The response has been incredible. The feedback is just great. It's, it's really nice to be on a, on a new label and it just felt like it was a, a good fit. This track for us is, I don't think it's like anything that we've previously released. So it's always good to put out something that's quite different. But I think Coven generally, we've always been very lucky to cross over genres and just change what we're putting out. And, and the responses are always really, really nice. So for us, it's good that, to know that we can carry on that way. When I songwrite, I just write about things that are going on in my life currently. For the subtact song, Want You, um, I met my boyfriend like two days prior to that, wrote a song about it. This Lost Guy Dreams is, um, I wrote about my dad. He recently passed away from cancer. The, so the track just felt like it should be about that. It was a really emotional track and a really big track and I had to give my dad some of the spotlight. I Perfect 10, I honestly wrote that in about 10 minutes because when I'm on a roll, I kind of just keep writing. But yeah, the song is really just about embracing imperfections and because of your imperfections, that makes up who you are. And I wanted to kind of make self-confidence anthem to not only help myself, but help anybody who wants to listen to a song that has lyrics that really mean something. So I've had a few fans message me on Instagram, basically just saying, I love the song. It really helped me through, you know, I was having a bad day or it helped me through some difficult times and 
it's surreal to me how just, again, like me writing lyrics can actually mentally help someone. And if I can keep doing that for as long as I can, that is ideal. Honey, I'm a perfect Uh, what's next with me and NCS? I hope to continue the great work relationship that we have. It's been four years now and it's been an honor to be part of the family. Maybe in two or three years, an album. I would absolutely love to work with some of the people who have been part of the family. Chris Linton, Anna Yvette, they're both super talented. Harley Bird is another one. William Black was great to work with and I really hope to work with him again. And Arm & Hammer is a, a huge one for me too. So hopefully all these projects will be coming out within the next year or so. And I'm just so excited for 2019. Next step is to maybe to, to start with shows in 2019 and yes of course we try to to create some merch with with ncs we kind of collaborate with them we have such a good relationship with them we really like or oh, the the work they do all that so we're just gonna keep releasing it's just very inspiring to see new artists coming up and also old artists still bringing new sounds and be a big part of the journey yeah.